What's up, Lake Blasted High School? It's Al Breezy coming at you with the news. We decided that we needed a new anchor, so I'm taking over for the big show. No! Hey Julia, what's Avid been up to? On March 2nd, LPHS Avid is hosting a flag football game. The game pits local law enforcement officers and LPHS faculty and students in a fun and spirited game. The proceeds will be put into the LPHS Avid program and used to fund college field trips and other educational field trips and events. The gates will be open at 6.30 p.m. and the entry fee is only $3 per person. The game will begin at 7 p.m. There will be a tamale dinner fundraiser and concession stand available. The tamale dinner begins at 5 p.m. The Ag Expo Family Night will be held on Friday, February 23rd from 4 to 7 p.m. This great event will include a hands-on event for families to experience the equipment and technology used in local agriculture of yesterday and today. This event will be located at the Lake Placid High School track and field. Admission is free and a pulled pork barbecue dinners will be available for $10 along with other light concessions. Are you a Dragon Bank account holder? Looking to win some cash? Dragon Bank is giving away $50 cash. Look for the sweetheart candies in a glass jar during your lunch and enter your guess of how many candies are in the jar. Two winners will be drawn at the beginning of March to win $25 each. Don't have, a, don't have an account? Get a Dragon Bank account today. Good luck. There will be a SGA meeting Friday in the library at 7.45 a.m. Bring all your friends and see what is happening. Any students wanting to run for SJA office for the 2018-2019 school year, please see Mrs. Son. Paperwork will be available on Monday, February 26th in her classroom. Let's check out VOCA with Mr. Harris and This Day in History with Mr. Brailsman. Good afternoon, Lake Placid High School. Give me one second. Ruining a perfectly good song. Trying to grade some papers here. All right. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys all are having an outstanding week and get ready for this three-day weekend. But before you go, here's a good quote from Calvin Coolidge. Maybe it'll make you think twice about what you're going to do over the weekend. Calvin Coolidge said, We cannot do everything at once, but we can do something at once. I'm going to go get something done. Hey everyone, welcome to Word of the Day with Mr. Halpern. Our Word of the Day today is thesis, a statement or theory that is put forward as a premise to be maintained or proved. So the important thing about a thesis is you should always see one in an argumentative paper. And you'll know it's a thesis if it can be argued or debated. If you simply state a fact, you are not making a thesis. So there's your word of the day. Thanks a lot, Dragons. Juniors and seniors, there will be a slideshow during prom. If you have any pictures from over the years that you would like to have in the slideshow, please email them to Ms. Durrance. Brooks Law Group encouraged students to participate and learn more about the community and think about concepts that affect their everyday life. They are looking forward to receiving submissions and reading through each of the students' perspectives. Some of the basic details regarding the scholarship are the essay topic, which is the US-27 has recently been named the third most dangerous highway in America. In your opinion, what factors do you believe lead to this newfound alias? If your family was visiting from out of town and traveling US-27, what advice would you give them to make their trip as safe as possible? The word count is 700 to 1400 words, and the deadline is May 1, 2018. The first place prize will be $1,000, and the second place prize will be $250. For more information regarding the scholarship criteria and rules, please visit Guidance. Now let's head over to weather with Mikey. This is Michael Craig here with your afternoon weather. As you can see here, it's going to be in the low 80s to the low 70s. 
And as you see here, there's no, absolutely no rain. It's up north. There's a little bit of fog there, but that's about it. And as you can see here, it's in the low 80s. And for and as the lows would be in the low 60s and the high 60s. And here's an interesting thing. This is how a thunderstorm is formed. It is formed by convection, which causes it to be pushed up and grow. And it has to be at 32 degrees. And this is the mature stage. It takes in warm air and pushes out the cold air after it's done with it. And then once it's done with all that, it dissipates and all the cold air falls back down to earth as rain. And now to the sports center. Jerry fans, I'm Karina and this is DNN Sports. At 4 p.m., boys tennis will be at Hardy, while girls tennis will face off against Hardy at home. At 5 p.m., there will be a home track meet against Moore Haven and Seabree. On Friday at 4.30 p.m., varsity softball will be at Southwest Florida Christian. Good luck to all our Dragon athletes. Now back to Connor in the studio. Teacher commercials all month. The next teacher, Miss Elliott. Let's check it out. Anatomy and Physiology is a class where students can learn about the structures and functions of the human body. This class is taught by Miss Elliott, an experienced teacher who knows her stuff and makes learning enjoyable. Even if you don't think you're a science person, this class will definitely pique your interest. If you're squeamish, feel free to look away, but many students find dissection fascinating. One of the most interactive and hands-on experiences of this class is the dissection of a sheep brain. Students are able to intricately explore the brain of an animal while getting a closer look at the nervous system. There are many other fun labs in this class, such as the annual cat dissection. There's so much to learn in anatomy and physiology. If this interests you, head down to Guidance and get yourself on the list for this class. And the quote of the day is, a day without sunshine is, you know, nighttime. That quote is by Steve Martin. Peace out, people. I love you. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in.